Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to The Second Shelf. And yes, you guessed it, a book haul, the first book haul of 2023. Um, th these are all books that I that were delivered to me <laughs> in January. Some are for January, and I'm already reading them, and some just came in, and they are for February, but I've just put them all together in the first book haul of 2023. And as for the blouse, yes, I think... I just decided, you know, why change a good thing? Keep up with tradition. So we are going in 2023 still with the book of us. There are 11 books here. So to start off, uh, a huge one, a big chunker, a Babel by uh, Rebecca F. Kuang, uh, published in 2022. And if you don't get the dark vibes from the cover, you'll get it from the subtitle, The Necessity of Violence. Um, I'm reading this as a buddy read with Heidi, and we are about not yet halfway through, but almost. Um, I, uh, uh, Rebecca Kuang, you probably know her from her f trilogy. The first one was called The Poppy Wars, a fantasy book. This is also fantasy, dark academia fantasy set in historical uh, London, but London in an alternate history kind of way. So it's not the, the London and the Oxford, I should rather say, because the Tower of Babel is in Oxford. Uh, it's not quite the Oxford that we know because the Tower didn't, you know, wasn't there. But anyway, so it's about uh, a group of uh, foreign students, um, main character Robin from China, uh, but there's also uh, also one from India, one from uh, the Caribbean, and a white uh, student, but a female student. There are two females, two males, um, and they all are recruited, uh, quote-unquote, for this uh, Institute of Translation. And then plot takes off from there. I'm not going to go too much uh, into it. So far, I'm really enjoying it. You know, fantasy mm, and me, we don't gel. That's why I didn't read The Poppy Wars. But I'm just amazed by this author's, um, you know, speed of writing. She's 26 and she, this is her fourth book. So, yeah. Babel. Oh, and the as for the pronunciation... Some say Babel. Uh, I say Babel because that's how the Tower of Babel, the biblical Tower of Babel, is referred to. So, but if it's Babel, let me know. Uh, next book is one of uh, is a book for one of my projects. If you have watched my video about the plans for 2023, one of the plans was to read uh, independent presses and focusing on two feminist presses, that is Virago in the UK and the feminist press in the US. And so the first, uh, one of the first books I bought, I already uh, talked about that, but I, for February, I bought Palmaris by Gail Jones, and that's, this is a Virago Press book. It was a finalist, as you can see, for the 2022 Pulitzer. Didn't win. Uh, Gail Jones uh, is an author that was discovered by Toni Morrison, who encouraged her to write. That's what everybody tells me. Um, and this book uh, she published after um, a hi hiatus of almost 20 years. And it's set in Brazil in the 17th century. And it's uh, a, a, when slavery was, of course, uh, still uh, a, a present on a plantation. And there is this rumor about this magical place, Palmares, where slaves who were able to escape can live freely. That's all I know. Gail Jones, Virago Press. We go with it. Uh, next one uh, for the same project, but then for the feminist press, and that is the age of. It's a bit of a. It looks like a glare, but it isn't. Uh, the age of goodbyes uh, by Li Si Shu, translated from the Chinese by E Z Shin. Um, Li Si Shu is a Malaysian author, but she writes in Chinese. And this book is set in Malaysia during um, the 
uh, the riots in 1969. It says in the blurb, in the wake of Malaysia's deadliest race riots, a woman named uh, Leanne secures her place in society by marrying a gangster. Sounds fascinating. But again, I have never read this author. It was my pick. I just go through the backlist of both publishers, Feminist Press and Virago, and then I pick a book uh, each month that I think is interesting. And I forgot when this was published. I'm sorry. Um, 2022. Of course, this, because it's a Malaysian author, uh, it's also Global South. Even though my focus for the Global South project is Iran and the Caribbean, but it still counts. I mean, Global South is Global South. Anyway, the next book was um, more of a surprise find. Um, uh, when I browsed uh, books, I came across this one. Eleanor Clackhorn, Unwell Women, A Journey Through Medicine and Myth in a Man-Made World. And it's just uh, what it says on the tin. Let me check 2021. Yes, nonfiction, obviously. Uh, this is also on my 1001 uh, book list, so 1001 books by women that I have to read before I die. Um, uh, and it is a historical overview uh, on health care of women and the problems with that. I'm about halfway through and it's absolutely fascinating. So I will talk more about this uh, once I finished it. Um, the next book was also more, more of a unplanned uh, buy, which is always a great. Uh, translated fiction, Body Kenchugi by Shenka Maric. Uh, translated from the Bosnia, from the Bosnian, by I think by Celia, yes, by Celia Hawks, Hawksworth. Um, the English transla translation is from last year, and the Bosnian original the year before 2021. Um, it's a memoir um, about uh, the author and her struggle with breast cancer. And why was that a surprise or an unplanned buy? Um, I'm buddy reading this with Joe Smith. And we had planned to read another book, um, but and she had it on script, and then you know how script is. It disappeared just before we started, and um, we will read the book once she uh, it's recovered on uh, on script, I think end of February, so we will probably read it in March. Um, and in order to still have a buddy read, uh, she suggested three books and I picked uh, this one because it sounded uh, fascinating. And it's also um, an indie press uh, uh, book, so ticks a lot of boxes. Um, the next book uh, is also nonfiction and it's the February pick for the Book Naturalist Book Club uh, that is still running, thankfully, uh, run by Heidi from My Reading Life and Doris from All the Books. And you are probably familiar with it, but just to remind you, um, they encourage us to read more books about nature in the broad sense. And at the end of each year, they pick the whole list for the next year. So you can go um, to their channel, respective channel, and look for the announcement video. And you can already have the whole list for the whole year, which I really like, because then I can, you know, fit it in, um, uh, in, in my reading. And like I said, the book for February is this one, A Bigger Picture by Vanessa Nakate, a Nigerian, is it Nigerian? Okay, uh, Uganda. I'm sorry. So this is really stupid. Ugandan um, environmental activist. Uh, and you, if you are not familiar with her at all or haven't been familiar with her at all, you might have become to know her, if that makes sense grammatically, um, when I think last year, uh, a year ago, there was a picture of young um, environmentalists uh, posing with Greta Thunberg. Um, and she was one of them, but she was on the outer edge of the picture and she was just, you know, deleted out of the picture. And she was the only black uh, environmentalist. So that made quite some fuss. It was horrible, but I think at least more people 
after the, this controversy, uh, got to know her. And this is her um, book about why we need, I think it says he, something here, why the, my fight to bring a new African voice to the climate crisis, because of course, Africa is a really important uh, continent on that. So this is the February pick. I'm really looking forward to that. And then I have uh, a book. It's not yet a project, and I didn't talk about it in my 2023 plans, but I kind of, when I looked into uh, the Virago backlist, and the, they have a list of Virago modern classics, and they have a lot of Patricia Highsmith. And I haven't read Highsmith since, I don't know, um, 30 years or something. I was really into uh, Agatha Christie and Patricia Highsmith um, uh, uh, and more of the female classic crime authors when I was young in my in my 30s. So that's almost 30 years ago. And when I saw these beautiful covers, I thought hmm, maybe I'm going to slowly make my way through Patricia Highsmith's uh, book list. You can't call it a backlist because she doesn't live anymore. And it one of her book books is on the 1001 list, uh, my my list. Um, and it's also Virago Press. So I show you the book now. <laughs> uh, for for February I chose The Sweet Sickness. Um, and this is a book about a man who has the unwavering conviction that life is going to work out exactly as he planned. And he has his uh, wife or love, Annabelle, and of course everything goes south. You know Patricia Highsmith. It's more... She can be quite dark. It's not cozy mystery, but I always really liked her and I like these uh, Virago modern classic covers. So I started with this one and I probably take just this first one for the thousand and one list. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you could take Talented Mr. Ripley because it's it, her fam most famous book, but I just want to have one of her books on that list. So it's probably going to be this one. Um, then two more books um, for the uh, for the independent presses, Feminist Press First plus Global South Iran. Um, I chose this one, Women Without Men uh, by, this is really glary, I'm sorry. Can you see it? Shanush Parsipur, uh, translated by Faradud Farooq, and it's translated from the Persian. One of my subscribers, thank you very much again, uh, <laughs> told me when I hauled uh, or I showed you a, a book by another Ira Iranian author, uh, and I said translated from the Arabic, which was because I'm an idiot, you know. Iran used to be Persia, so they speak Persian. Anyway, so this book has been translated from the Persian. It's a slim uh, little book. And I think, uh, Joe Smith, uh, didn't you recommend this to me? I think you did. So this will be uh, my first uh, read of the year for the Iran project. And when has it been published? Um, I'm sorry. Um, let me see. Now I can't find it, of course. Yes, uh, 1989 and translated to English version in 2004. And the next one is a feminist uh, classic uh, from Virago this time, um, Eva Ensler, The v Vagina Monologue, Monologues, uh, published, first published in 1969. No, 1996, not 69. Um, I, these, this is one of the books. First of all, it's on the 1001 list. It's a Virago book. It's a feminist classic. I read it in the German translation in my late 20s. No, that can't be. Uh, late 30s something. Uh, but I... As I told you before, if I read a book that was originally written in English uh, and I read it in the German translation, it doesn't count for the 1001 book list. So I want to read it in the original. Funny thing, though, the name, Eve Ensler, is an American author, but it's a very German name, Ensler. And I read it in German, not even realizing that it was a translation. Again, idiot. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then two more books uh, for the uh, Virago Feminist Press Project, uh, both backlist books. The first one, um, The Cosmopolitans by Sarah Schulman, an author that I have never heard of, published in 2016. Uh, by the Feminist Press, uh, Greenwich Village, 1958. Earl, a black gay actor, and Bat, a white secretary, have been neighbors for 30 years, um, forming a deep friendship, but then something happens, of course, and it is a kind of reimagining of Cousin Bat uh, by Honoré de Balzac, a, a book that I have read in school or when I was still in school and really liked. So I'm, I was interested when intrigued when I saw this. But yeah, I have never heard of this author, but it fits the project. I don't think I will read all the books from the Feminist Press and Virago Press in February. So I just bought a couple, you know, to have kind of a stack. I, I probably will, let's put it down a bit because this is heavy. I will probably, I don't know, do one or maybe two a month. I think that that is probably the most I can do. And the last one, also Virago Press. And I'm not sure whether it's on the, um, no, it's not on the 1001 list, but it, it's debut and it's translated fiction from the French. It's the Book of Mother by Violaine Usman, Usman uh, translated from the French by, 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 by Leslie Cami, Leslie Cami. C A M H I, uh, English translation from last year, and the book was published in, Fran Fra in France uh, four years earlier, and it was long listed. I came across it because it was long listed for the International Booker last year, and it sounded intriguing about a mother daughter relationship um, that, you know, sounded different, um, and yeah, Virago. So I. I went for it. So those are the 11 books that I uh, bought end of December in January. Um, my first book haul of 2023. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, as always, I'm looking forward to your comments and I'll see you all soon in the next one.